So, and I'm going to answer it uh, two different ways. Uh, first, you know, the primary goal of your website is always to, to create that momentum towards you solving their problem, right? Whether, right, no right, matter right. what it is, right? Right. And so, one of the one thing you need to think about is that call to action. Your, and I'll, let's call that your primary call to action for the sake of this discussion. Okay. okay. That primary call to action has to be in their mind part of that process for them to achieve their goal. And so what I see a lot of times is a disconnected call to action. You land on the website and it's like, you know, learn more, contact us. And it's like, what? I don't, I, I have no idea, no Why? idea what that means. Why? Right, right. Exactly. So what we recommend to clients is what we call a three-step plan. So when somebody lands on your site, you answer the questions I mentioned earlier. What do you do? What's in it for me? How do I take the next step? But in that, how do I take the next step? You actually give them a three-step plan. And this, and this is clearly communicated on your website where step one is your primary call to action. Hey, schedule a discovery meeting, get a demo, whatever that first step is. And then step two, you show them, hey, this is doing business with us is easy. Step one, get a demo. Step two is whatever you're going to do to solve the problem. So in our case, it's going to be, we'll build a digital marketing plan together. And then step three is what life would be like once they've solved mm -hmm. their problem mm -hmm. with you. And so now you've given them a momentum, you created momentum. They're like, oh, okay, I'm on this website. I now know what they do, do and I know how they solve my problem. Oh, here's a plan for me to get my problem solved with them. And this is what life will be like afterwards. And so, you know, if you go to our website at vindydigital.com, you'll see an example of that on just about every page. Um, and so that's your primary call to action. The second thing though, Daniel, is we need to have a secondary call to action. So I'm not ready to get engaged with you yet. I'm not ready for this demo yet. I'm not ready to talk to sales yet. So, but I do like you and maybe I'd like to go out on a date. Maybe I would be happy to go on and have some coffee or learn more. So we've got to have that other um, uh, secondary call to action. Uh, there is a lot of debate right now in the digital marketing world about whether you gain um, guides and things like that or force people to opt in to get those things. And the, the key point is that you do need to have some kind of a resource that's available to buyers that aren't ready to talk to your sales rep or take the next step, whether mm -hmm. that's a tool, a calculator, um, <laughs> guide, something mm -hmm. like that that people can opt in for. And it just needs to be strategically placed on your website.